I'm Chris Fendrick. I'm Interim Director of Auxiliary <coughs> Services at uh, CSU Pueblo. <coughs> you know what Auxiliary Services does? Good. We manage the University Center, which is over there, which will probably in the next three years be remodeled into, we're going to add about 40 to 50,000 square feet to it. Um, we're also going to move the cantina. If you ever know what the cantina is, it's, the, it's our food court on the, in the lower level. We're going to move that up to the main level and have a bunch of windows out there so people can sit there and have their lunch or dinner and, and look out at the campus. Also, uh, Auxiliary Services handles the bookstore that Chris was talking about. We handle parking on campus. We handle food services, which include uh, any catering, student dining and meal plans, um, and any of the retail locations on campus, including the um, Cafe Libro. There's a coffee shop in the Life Science Building. There's a little uh, uh, convenience store outside the Hassan School of Business. There's a uh, a little store in, out, inside the uh, um, um, Kuleva Residence Hall. Um, also, we handle the vending machines on campus. We just put in 17 vending machines that just got in today, this morning. I was out running around talking this morning. I didn't know I was going to be on campus. <laughs> and uh, also, we handle IDs, which I'll get into a little bit um, further, a little bit later. And we handle the Red Line Shuttle, which is the shuttle we run on campus on Friday through Saturday, or Friday through Sunday, every weekend. Um, we get run that to from the President's Halls and Wolf Village all the way down to Denver, or not to Denver, to the downtown area. Also, we'll be running it during the State Fair as well. We handle this child care center, and uh, like I said, we have the parking and transportation on, on campus. Um, the IDs, everybody's got an ID, right? Everybody's got an ID, right? <coughs> if you don't have an ID, you go over to our office, which is located on the main level of the University Center. Um, it's $10 to get your ID. Um, on this, this is eventually what they're going to do is put uh, sliding locks in all the doors of all the academic buildings. So you will have to get one of these to get in if you're coming late at night or something like that. Um, so that would keep track of who's getting coming into the, to the uh, academic building. But that's going to be coming probably within the next two years. So if you don't have one of these, you should probably get one of these. Also, what Chris had talked about was. Um, Thunderbucks. Thunderbucks are money that you can add to the account. And if you look in that thing that's being handed out, the bag that's hand being handed out, there's going to be a, a guide in there, which is basically a parent guide. But if you go to the spine, the middle of the uh, booklet, it'll basically give you an explanation of what Thunderbucks is. People get that confused with dining dollars or um, flex points. Dining dollars and flex points are for meal plans. A lot of you probably won't be getting meal plans, but if you want to eat on campus, you might want to think about getting um, Thunderbucks. These are money that you can add to your account. Um, and basically, I'll just read what it says. It's added separately to your student's ID. It can be used in any food service venue, the bookstore, soda vending machines, and the campus laundry machines. And I'll be working along with uh, the other vending company to get it on the, uh, like the candy machines. What you get is 10% discount on food items. So if the coffee is $5, I don't know if it costs $5, you get maybe $4.50, but you don't have to pay taxes on it either. <coughs> so you save on that as well. So it's a great deal just to put like, you know, 50 to 100 bucks. So if you're on campus and you want a coffee, you can just go slide the party and they can add them um, and get a discount on it. Um, in the bookstore, you get a 10% discount except textbooks and computer software. Um, also, I don't believe that Taxes are free in the, in, the, in the bookstore. Chris, is that correct? It's not. So um, you just get the 10% discount, which is still pretty good. Um, anybody, anybody have any questions on Thunderbucks and what that is? Where do you add the money at? Over in our office, um, which is in the um, University Center, OUC, Oceano University Center. On um, the main level, that says information right up there. You can go right there, or you can call us. Um, um, our extension, I have my extension, 2611, or you can call Veronica Trujillo at extension 2896, and you can call and say, I got a credit card, and give the credit card over the phone, and they can add whatever you want to add to that. So, any other questions on Thunderbucks? How do do that? Okay. Um, parking on campus, um, I would say that. If you take night classes, you should be safe. If you don't have a parking pass, but I would suggest getting one because I can't guarantee it. Um, normally, they will still be checking to about 5:30, but some nights they may check later. So I would suggest still getting a 
parking pass. And in that package, you see that the rates that are there for the new parking. This is the rates, and there's also a map in there for the campus as well. And you can get your parking passes either at our office in the OUC or down in the basement of the administration building at the sheriff's office there. Any questions on parking? I think that's that's all I really had. Does anybody have any questions for me on auxiliary services at all? <coughs> yes. What kind of dining options are available for students? Um, basically, we have a cafeteria right now. So anybody can go into it. It's open. Um, It's open Monday through Friday from 7.15 to 7.15 at night. On Saturdays and Sundays, um, they're open from 10.30 to 1.30 for lunch, and then for dinner, 5 to 6.30. The cantina, which is like a food court downstairs, we have a, um, the bagels, um, Einstein bagels down there. They're open on Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., and then on Friday from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Um, the other ones we have at the Espresso Car, which is in the Life Science Building, which is a coffee place where they have some sandwiches. Um, the uh, um, Cafe Libro right out here in the library with sandwiches and, and drinks and coffee. And then we have the Bistro, which is over in Caleva Residence Hall, which is like a convenience store. And uh, uh, the uh, Pavilion, which is right outside of the HSB School of Business. So. <coughs> Any other questions? All right. Thank you very much.